Oh, where are we, Blaster? Oh, we're at the Hall of Flame. I know what that means. Today we get to learn about fire trucks. Cool. Now this says, please ring. Should we do it? One, two, three. Woo! Let's go inside. Baba Blast. Whoa. Wow. Look at all the old blaster. Look, it's lighting up. Hi there. Hey, Baba Blast. Hey, Blaster. How you doing? We're doing great. We're so excited to be in the Fire Museum. Well, we're very excited to have you here. You've come to the right place if you want to learn about firefighting, but I think that you should be dressed to fit the part. Yeah, no question. We need a hat like that. Hey, Blaster, why don't we dress up like a firefighter first? Here we go. Whoa, Blaster, look at this big red fire truck. Oh. And here's all the clothes for the firefighters. Perfect. This is what we'll put on. I'll set you here, Blaster. Now, what should I put on first? Ah, what about this jacket? Whoa, this jacket is heavy. Oh, and it's really durable. And if it's dark out, these light reflectors will help keep the firefighters visible. Let's put it on. Oh, Blaster, this is really heavy. Oh, but I know I'd be protected if I'm wearing this. There we go. How do I look, Blaster? Awesome. Now, normally I would button this up, but it's pretty hot out, so I'm gonna keep it open. Now, let's see, I'm already wearing pants. Ah, the boots. And to put on these boots, I need to first take off my yellow shoes. I love my yellow shoes. Now I can put on real firefighter boots. Whoa. And another one. Whoa. There we go. These feel great. We've got our jacket, we got our boots, but there's one more thing we're missing. Blaster, any ideas? Any ideas? That's right, we need a helmet an orange helmet, a white helmet, yeah, a red helmet, our favorite color blaster. All right, this part goes in the front. Nice, now my head's protected. So if anything hits it, I'll be okay. Didn't feel a thing. Now that we're dressed like a proper firefighter blaster, why don't you say we go get on this fire truck? <laughs> yeah, all right, let's go. Whoa, look at this. This is where one firefighter would sit on its way to go take care of a fire. Hey, let's go to the front and see what's up there. Whoa. Three steps, one, two, three. All right, we made it to the top, Blaster. Here we go. Let's see if we can turn on any lights. Nice, yeah, that's fun. One more time, Blaster. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And they have a big steering wheel. Come up and check this out. This steering wheel is one of the biggest I've ever seen. You need big arms and big hands to move this around. Lights, lights, awesome. Now let's check out the other side of the fire truck. There's so much to see, come on. Oh, Miami Fire Department, cool. Whoa, look how large this is. And more levers and gauges. And it's so big, look how far it goes all the way down here. Oh, come up here in the back of the fire truck. There's lots of room. You could fit a lot of firefighters in here. Awesome. But you know what, Blaster? I was just thinking, firefighters are around smoke. Because if there's smoke, there's gotta be a fire. And it's hard to breathe if there's smoke around. So they must have a way to breathe even when there's smoke in the air. Let's go find the first mask that they ever made that allowed firefighters to breathe even when there's smoke in the air. 
And Blaster, when we get there, can you get rid of this jacket? It's too hot. Here we go! Whoa! Hey! This must be the first firefighter breathing device. I don't know how this works though, Blaster. It looks complicated. Hey, I know somebody that can help us. Blaster? Well, hey! Hey, Baba Blast, Blaster, hi. Great to see you again. I bet you can help us learn what this is well, and how it works. I sure can try. This is a smoke mask that was invented by a man named Garrett Morgan. And Mr. Morgan had the idea that if the hose goes down below where the smoke is, ah. then there'd be good air that you could breathe. That would go right, that good fresh air would go right up that hose. He actually thought of it because he saw an elephant's trunk at a circus one day. And that's where he got the idea. But he can breathe that good air because smoke goes up. So down near the floor, that's where, if you're ever in a fire, that's where you should always stay, is down near the floor and crawl. Yeah. Because the smoke goes up. But he just had the idea that you'd have a hose that would go down and firefighters could wear that. And it cool. worked. That's awesome. So the clean air down from the bottom goes through the tubes up to where your face is so you can breathe clean air. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Well, he sounds like a guy who was really smart. He was a very special guy. He invented uh, this, but he invented a lot of other things, including something that you see pretty much every day if you go out of the house. Oh. The traffic light? The traffic light. So, okay, everybody understands the traffic light. Red means? Stop, that's right. And green means? Go, that's right. right. But back in the old days, they just had stop and go, stop mm. and go. And it was hard for people on the sidewalk to find a time to cross the street. And it was dangerous. And it was Mr. Morgan's idea to put an all stop light in. And that became the yellow light. So whenever you see a yellow light in the traffic light, think of Mr. Morgan. All right, Mr. Morgan, we appreciate you. Since we're learning a lot of firsts today, like the first traffic light and the first firefighter's breathing device, I like to go see the first fire truck ever made. And guess what? It's not a fire truck. We'll see you later. Come on, Blaster. Whoa, Blaster. This is an old fire truck. Do you know George Washington? Well, he was the first president of the United States. And this was made seven years before George Washington was even born. Here's how it works. Firefighters would take buckets and fill them with water. They'd pour the water into this trough right back here. And then they would take these long poles and pump them up and down and water would shoot out of this. It was basically like a big squirt gun. Let's check it out. I think we need some protective gloves, Blaster. This is old and we do not want to ruin it. All right, protective gloves. Hey, Blaster, perfect. How do you like it when I hold you with the gloves? Nice. All right, I'm gonna set you down, Blaster. Remember, the water's back here and now we pump it so it goes up here. One, two, three. Whoa. So firefighters on either side would pump like this. You're right, Blaster. Firefighters have to fight in all different conditions. Hey, they have to fight in the rain. They have to fight at night. They have to fight when it's really hot outside. But what did firefighters do back in the day when it was snowing and the roads were covered in snow? Well, they used something called a fire sled. Here it is, check it out. This is the Pung Fire Sleigh. And you know what makes it a sled? right down here. They don't have wheels, they actually have these sleds. That means they could go over snow and ice and get to where the fire is. That's a really cool blaster. Let's see some more awesome fire trucks.
bugs are so cool. And hey, check out my new friend, this little Dalmatian puppy. We've had so much fun today. Wait, we're not done just yet. We gotta go to the gift shop and get a prize. A little token to remember our day. Come on, Blaster. Here we go. Oh, this is an awesome gift shop, Blaster. We can find some cool stuff in here. Hey, look at this t-shirt. It says Hall of Flame, world's largest fire museum. That's awesome, and it's our favorite color red. Oh, hey, a book. Garrett Morgan. We learned about him today. Pop quiz time, pop quiz time. What two things did Garrett Morgan create? That's right, the very first firefighter breathing device and the traffic light. I think we'll take this book home with us. But what else? Oh, I see something that I know we'll like. Check this out, a little Dalmatian puppy. Oh, he's perfect. Well, we got our things from the gift shop. Looks like we had a great day and I'm glad you could join us. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye bye, blast.